Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I've got a watch out for review. This is the Time Locker Corelis. I hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, this is a uh, watch brand out of Germany. Um, I I'm just been introduced to this watch, so this is uh, new for me. But this is a very nice looking timepiece. Um, it is all stainless steel, three sixteen L with brushed finishing. The size of the actual case is 42 millimeters, okay, from side to side. The thickness is 14 millimeters thick, okay. Um, lug to lug is about 50 millimeters, so pretty big watch. Kind of has a case shape of my Tudor Pelagos, if you see those uh, pointed crown guards there. So that's interesting. It's got very nice beveling, polished bevel across the top, brushed on top, brushed on the sides, and then you got that polished bevel on the side there which is just really nice, reminiscent of a Tudor. Uh, very nice looking case on this watch. I really like that. Um, the lug opening is 22 millimeters, okay? Um, <clears throat> it has a screw down crown and it is oversized. So it's got a nice size, big crown, which I like that because it's easy to uh, set the time, um, easy to use, and it is a signed crown, okay? Time Locker's logo there. Um, weight is about 97 grams, okay, 3.42 ounces. The bezel is unidirectional, okay, 120 clicks. It's a sapphire, or it's a scratch-resistant ceramic bezel, okay, and it's loomed, and we'll get into that. But it's got, listen, very nice action, and it lines up very well, okay, so that's nice. It kind of has a... Uh, 50, 50 fathoms uh, look to that bezel. From what I understand, this uh, when he developed this watch, he wanted something that was, um, you know, timeless, classic looking, something from like the fifties, and it's got it's got a lot of that. So if you look at the uh, actual uh, the uh, Arabic numerals, there they're kind of they have that old old school open look. Okay, so that open nine there, open six which is something you'd see on an older <clears throat> Submariner or you know something like that. So I, I really like that. Um, let me, let's see, what else do we have here? Uh, crystal is a double domed sapphire crystal and it has AR coating on the inside, okay, on the underside. I'm gonna wind it a little bit. It's running an NH35 Seiko movement. Now this is a prototype. So, you know, I'm sure once we get this out on Kickstarter, which this will be released on Kickstarter soon. I'm not sure exactly when, but once it does, this, this uh, video will hit. Um, it has C3 Super Luminova on the indices, um, numerals and hands and bezel, okay? Uh, hand applied, filled with three layers of loom. So a lot of loom on this, and we're gonna do a loom shot, of course, okay? Um, <clears throat> Water resistance is 200 meters, 660 feet, okay? It's got a screw down crown like we talked about. The movement, like we briefly talked about, is an automatic Seiko NH35A, which is tried and true, trust me. Um, 24 joules, vibrations per hour is 21,600. It's got a lift angle, I guess, of 53 degrees. Shock system's a dia shock, so all the good Seiko stuff. Um, power reserves 41 hours. Um, winding direction is bi-directional. And yes, it does hack and it is windable. So I like that over like a Miyota. I like to be able to wind the watch. Um, so that's, that's a nice touch as well. And right there, time locker on the dial. You have this inner, um, inner like 60 minute counter on the inside. Okay, so if you want your, your 60 seconds there, you've got it. Uh, and those look like they're probably loomed as well. So you got little loom plots there as well. So we're gonna we're gonna try to loom it up. Uh, automatic, 200 meters, 660 feet. You have these older style hands with a really nice yellow second hand. Um, <clears throat> matte black dial. It's got some texture and certain lighting. Looks pretty good. 
date right here at the four o'clock. I really like the date on a lot of these watches at four o'clock or even at six o'clock. So that's very nice. It, it keeps the dial nice and, and uniformed and, and symmetrical. Everything just looks good. And this thing really pops. It's got a really nice look to it. I love the teeth on the bezel. I love how it matches the, the uh, teeth on the um, screw down crown. I just can't get over how much this looks like my Tudors. I mean, just a nice, well-made case, polished on the inside of the lugs. Um, here is your screw down case back. It says sapphire crystal, 200 meters, all stainless steel, automatic, time locker. You have your uh, time locker logo. It looks like it's a plane. Um, very nice. I like that. A nice leather strap, very soft, supple, stitched well. <clears throat> Excuse me. Signed buckle, pilot style looking strap, really. Vintage, just looks vintage looking. Very thick, <clears throat> excuse me, very thick. So I can imagine this is gonna just wear nicely and fit on the wrist well too. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a loom shot here. Okay, let's check that out. And I believe the bezel is loomed as well. So everything's loomed, it's gonna look nice. Oh yeah, that looks good. Let me wipe it off and then I'm gonna turn out the lights. All right, so there's the loom. That is just amazing. So this is a prototype, and you know it, it's it's gone on tour. Um, it's here in California, but it was overseas. It's been all over the place. But um, the dial, I mean, look at the look at that loom. It's evenly applied for a for a prototype watch. I'm sure the final uh, final uh, you know assembly line watch will be better than this. I mean, this looks good already. So, um, and everything lines up, it looks good. I'm not sure the price point of this watch, but um, in the beginning, you know, the Kickstarter, what they're gonna give you, let me turn the lights back on, we'll kind of talk about that. But you're gonna get a better price if you purchase it uh, during the campaign on Kickstarter, of course. Um, what was the other thing? There was some other, let me find out, because you're gonna actually get some goodies when you buy it on Kickstarter. Um, just checking out my lo my uh, notes here, but um, you'll, you'll get a better price, of course. You're going to get a numbered limited edition, okay, on for your Kickstarter edition, um, an exclusive travel case, okay, and um, that's just for the Kickstarter backers, okay. So this is all just for if you back them on Kickstarter. Two straps, an Italian a vegetable tanned leather strap, and a NATO strap, and it's going to have a two-year international warranty, okay. So. Um, Pricing, like I said, I don't really know the pricing yet, but as soon as this hits, um, when I when the Kickstarter starts, I throw this video out there, I will have a link to that and you'll have the price. But it will be offered at a lower price than what it will be you know, later on, of course. And um, I'm sure the final production of this watch is just gonna be beautiful because this prototype looks great. I mean, the brushing on the sides done so well. I love that grainy look. I mean, that is just well done, the polished bevel. I mean, it, <laughs> it to me, it looks like a Tudor case. I mean, I this looks like my Pelagos case. It really does, and that's kind of scary. I mean, that's really scary. <laughs> but anyway, guys, this is Time Locker. Thanks so much for watching my channel. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you. Goodbye.